Hey, hello guys, and welcome back with another video. Um, I I was recording for a long time, but I decided to cut that out and record a brand new one because I haven't been able to find anyone. I did die one time already, and I'm just going to give you a quick summary of what has happened. I died, as you can see, to a Roland. I was following an enemy fighter and didn't realize that he was flying over the base, and the base at the time hadn't hadn't appeared on my map yet so I had no idea that the base was there uh oh 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 music music to my eyes and that came back roll back the video please that came back hostile in my IFF so uh, Fox 2 please please let it be hostile I don't want to be embarrassed today Thank God. Okay, we got one. Oh, that was a great time to restart that recording. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, I was just flying for a long time and not finding anybody. So, um, improvise a little here. And just restarted the recording. Anyways, we're flying with the MiG 23MF, as you saw. This is the German one, the event one. And, um... This time we're flying it with a lot of upgrades. A lot of upgrades. We got the engine. I mean, the only thing we don't have is a wing cover. We got everything else. Um, so right now, I'm sort of in their side of the map, not flying too strategically, uh, which is not good for business. Uh, I wish I I had unlocked bombs. I would love to go bombing stuff right now. I, I love bombing, uh, but we don't have any of those unlocked yet. So we're going to have to satisfy ourselves with air to air which is good so I'm using my radar a lot because I feel safe right uh, I don't think a lot of people are gonna sneak up on us except for that F4 that popped up out of nowhere um, and that's why I'm using it I'm using it to scan and the radar should be able to detect anything in this perimeter or that yeah in this perimeter that I'm essentially looking from uh, using a little trustworthy rear view mirror to check if there's anything on our six all right um, I just noticed we're kind of low on fuel so we're gonna go ahead and head back we're gonna be careful because uh, the F4s are taking off and they could easily just find us because we're and catch us too since we're not gonna be wepping Beautiful flight model. They need to implement the autopilot functionalities. I would love to set my autopilot for altitude hold um, and just nap of the earth, cruise, have a sip of water. Yep, I said water. I don't drink anything, guys. I uh, I don't like alcohol. I don't like the way it tastes. It tastes disgusting to me. And, um, yeah, I like sweets though, so I'll have a sweet mojito or something. <laughs> uh, anyways, and yes, I'm old enough to drink. I am 24 to turning, actually, I'm turning 25 on May 5th. I'm feeling old. I want to keep the videos a little shorter, so I'm gonna try my best to limit the videos to maybe 30 minutes, even though I've completely lost track of how much time has passed uh, since I started recording, maybe 5 minutes have passed. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna quickly go on my phone without crashing. This is why they don't let you use your phone while flying. I'm sorry for the cringe-worthy joke. Um, I'm gonna set up a timer for 30 minutes I'm gonna try to cram as much content in 30 minutes and then I'm gonna make a part 2 part 3 of the same flight my goal here is to make the videos a little more bite-size 
a little more bite size. So a little easier to watch, not so taxing on your on your time. I know having to having to sit through and it's also going to help me get a little bit more views, I, I suppose. Um, but it's definitely going to be a lot easier to sit through 30 minutes than to sit through an hour and 40 minutes. Um, like most of my videos are. If you guys don't like this format that I'm about to implement, please say it on the comment section. Please. I, I, I love to hear you guys' feedback and I love to give you guys uh, content that you like to watch. But um, I, I do want to say a little bit of a rant here. With an increasingly busy life, um, I have a job. I'm a software engineer for an artificial intelligence machine learning company. And, um, you know, I, I have a girlfriend. Soon to be my fiance. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. We're actually moving in on the, we're moving in together on May 29th. Um, so we're, we're doing a lot of preparations for that. Um, and, um, yeah, guys, I, I just, I have an increasingly busy life. I'm not going to be able to fly as much, um, uh, soon. I'm not going to be able to fly as much as I, as I currently do. And, um, you know, having a job already, already cuts that time down to like 50%. And, you know, um, I just have a lot going on and, I want to try to put out as much content as I can and I just don't think that I'm going to be able to fly in the future for, for hours on end without having to, to get off, you know. So I think making roughly 30 minute videos here and there are really going to help me continue, uh, continuously produce more content for you guys uh, and I, 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 I don't want to stop, you know, making content. And, um, Attention to the designated grid zone. you know, I, I want to eventually save up for flight school. I want to, I want to start going to flight school and I want to, to start flying in real life as a hobby, you know, maybe flying gliders or, or Cessnas or whatever, whatever it is that can get me up in the air. And I want to get a GoPro so I can film that for you guys. And then maybe at that time you guys are going to get a face reveal. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys even care. Um, I've never done something like that. So... Curious to see how that would go. Please don't break. Okay, thank God. All right. We got 26 minutes. Uh, sorry, we got 26 minutes left on my timer. So what's gonna happen is, if my timer runs out and I'm still flying, I'm just gonna finish that flight, come back to the base, and land, and that'll be the end of that video. And then I'll make it part two. Well, roughly 26 minutes from now, I'm gonna get that alarm ringing. All right, let us get out of here. We're gonna go hunting for some more phantoms. Oh wow, we have a lot of people on our team. Let's see if we have any objectives. Destroy enemy carrier, cover surveillance aircraft. Mm, nothing really worthy of us pursuing right now. We could destroy the carrier, but we don't have any bombs. I, I, I literally don't have him unlocked yet for this jet. Gears up, flaps up. All right, let's switch to our radar, get anything incoming. I feel extremely safe uh, getting into a one-to-one -one dogfight with, uh, with a Phantom. Uh, the Phantom can turn really well, but I think I can turn better. And if not, I can force the aircraft to turn better. I think I can exploit all the vulnerabilities of the Phantom. I know the Phantom is extremely sensitive when it comes to using that gun. That's a vulnerability right there that I can exploit. Um, so I definitely could die, but I, I feel 
I feel confident in my ability to beat it re uh, reliably. So if I have to get into a one-to-one -one dogfight, so be it. <laughs> if you guys watch my, my F4 Phantom video that I recently made, um, you're going to notice that I got into a dogfight with an F1 and I was on his tail the entire time. I just I couldn't hit him. I couldn't hit him. Uh, the jet is so sensitive, you try to make an aim correction and the jet pulls up like 30 degrees. It's crazy. And I am flying with a Thrustmaster Warhog and Verpal VPC rudder pedals. I've said that a million times in the recent videos. Um, so I do have an extremely, extremely expensive and powerful uh, flight control settings. Actually, funny story for you guys. Um, the way that I got my Thrustmaster Warhog uh, joystick... I didn't pay the $800 for it that it was at the time. Um, I actually bought a SciTech X56. And that joy. By the way, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Don't think that I'm sponsored, please. I, I'm really not. Uh, I'm just giving my honest opinion. Anyways, I bought the SciTech X56 as an upgrade to my SciTech X52. Worst mistake of my life. But, but not really a mistake, because I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, oh, that's an enemy. I think IFF picked him up. Or the ra I'm sorry, not IFF. The radar picked him up and came back IFF as a hustle, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the plane there. I'm pretty sure that's an F4. Ground ground clutter. Let's pull up our nose a little bit. This is BS. The radar should be um, elevation stabilized. So, it's not really like... Anyways. Um... <sighs> I bought the Cytex 56 and I saw a lot of bad reviews on it. And I thought to myself, this can't be right. A lot of these people are probably just not good or not just not good. I'm sorry. Uh, they're probably just overly sensitive about the product. Yada, yada, yada. Boy, was I wrong. The reviews were right. The Cytex X56 was garbage. When I got when it got here, it, a lot of buttons didn't work properly. Um, the knobs wouldn't work properly nothing would work properly a lot of the buttons would make ghost input input where you would press a button nothing would happen and then sometimes something would just randomly happen it was crazy it was crazy bad and the throttle the throttle would not function correctly the input was not proper at all so I got pretty angry sent it back and complained well they sent me a replacement but let's just say that my replacement wasn't a SciTech X56. It was a Thrustmaster Warhog. I paid $360 for the 56. For the SciTech for for Sci um, X56. And I instead received a Thrustmaster Warhog that was worth almost th two and a half times as much. I got the package and I, I went to lift it and the package was like 15 pounds or something and I'm like what the hell and um, then I noticed it was the Thrustmaster I got extremely happy about that oh wow this is a friendly we've been chasing a friendly guys womp womp um, and anyways that that was an extremely happy moment in my uh, 2021 <laughs> So, anyways, uh, I don't know if that was a mistake. I don't know if it was a act of generosity. And this was from Amazon, by the way. Um, but if it was a mistake, I mean, they're, they're going to have to kill me to get this back. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Jeff uh, Bezos. Uh, or thank you. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the, the VPC rudder pedals, these were like $400. Extremely good pair of rudder pedals. Extremely good. I love these. Best rudder pedals I've had in my entire life. Alright, it looks like we have a fighter high up. Uh, performing some good bombing. Let's go ahead and climb and hopefully not get, not get ourselves spotted and killed. I don't see anything. I'm so sorry, guys. This is a bit of a, a bit of a slow one. I'm not finding a lot of people. 
Let's lock him up. Let's lock him up. Come on, radar. Oh, he's diving on something. There he is. Yep. We got a positive ID on our target. We have a friendly on the bottom. Let's switch to infra. I can't see him. He's in the clouds. We're going to have to lock him up, guys. No way out of it. This is going to have to be a southern lock. All right. Let's prep our 23s. This is an F4 Phantom. Come on, 23s. Come on. Uh, screw the 23s. We're going with a gun. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. No, 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 no. This is not the time to black out right now, buddy. All right, let's narrow the search. We're going heat. Not the 23s. God damn it. Come on. Our 60s. Our 60s. Fuck me. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm making a lot of mistakes. I keep pressing the wrong button. Please, please, please forgive me. We could get intercepted. What the heck just hit us? Oh! Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. That's not good. I can't see him because of the the bar. All right, we're forcing an overshoot here. This is not safe. Is that him? That's him. All right, come on. We have a phantom that we need to worry about as well. Come on. Flaps. Why is my button not working? Oh, we can't use flaps. That's uh, that's the friendly. That's an F5. This is going to be a very tough one. Maybe not. All right. He's dipping. He's dipping. This is good for us. Don't hit the trees. Come on. There he is. All right. Please tell me the Phantom's not on R6. All right, we can catch the F5. This is going to be an easy catch. That was an awesome dogfight. I really hope that the Phantom's not tailing us. Let me let me check. Why am I keep I'm pressing the wrong buttons a lot. I'm sorry, guys. All right, I'm going to lock him up. I'm going to scare him and I'm also going to get the range all right, well, he... Oh, my God. That's a kill for us, guys. That's a wonderful kill for us. Um, I, I call that a win. Uh, honestly, honestly, guys, that was a bad action on my part. I should have stayed back and helped the friendly. I don't even know how the friendly's doing right now. He seems like he's still fighting the F4, so let's go in there quickly. That was a, definitely a kill for us. Uh, call it a, a one-dog fight kill. So let's go ahead and add one to our count. That's two kills already. Even though he says one. Alright. We're searching. We're searching. We're searching. Two friendlies. Fourteen minutes of fuel. What's this? What's this? What's this? We got something here. Is this a friendly? This is a friendly. SU7. What's going on? Come on. No, don't shoot me, buddy. Come on. That was really upsetting. We could have died there. We could have easily died there. Damn. All right. That's probably the SU-7 behind us. We've captured a zone. Oh, okay, I see two planes there. Potential hostile. The SU-7 might be chasing off that F-4. Nope, two friendlies. Wow. That was a really good dogfight, though. Um, I forgot what the maneuver is called, but essentially... Um, 
forced a high AOA. Um, as you guys, if you guys roll back the video, it's actually a really effective maneuver. Uh, I forced a high AOA. We have a fighter here, and it's a hostile. Um, forced a high AOA, and once uh, I noticed or felt that I was at a high AOA, I started rolling to the right and applying right rudder. That is going to create a massive problem uh, for an approaching aircraft. It's risky because you're uh, you're depleting your energy, but I judged that his energy state was a lot higher than mine at the moment, and so I, I forced that overshoot and gave us a chance to to make a comeback. And that's something I use a lot in DCS. Um, it's definitely a tactic I learned in DCS, and it works really well with jets. With props, it's, it's a bit... Um, a bit more problematic with props simply because of the fact that a prop can really lose energy really fast so it's it's a good chance that the prop will be able to keep up with you or slow down or pull up into a high yo-yo and just come back in but the jet the jet has a much wider turn rate um, so it's definitely somewhat easier with a jet <laughs> unless it's something like a vampire in that case you probably made a mistake and you're gonna die We need to keep our radar on right now because it's a high visibility environment and you know what technically that's BS we don't need to the radar on right now so I'm gonna turn it off so two kills he knew that we were behind him and he wanted to deny the kill so he crashed uh, maybe maybe that's what happened maybe not maybe maybe his joystick screwed up uh, and yeah I want to let you guys. Okay, the I saw the F5 going in, going in that direction. So it's very likely that the F5 is in that direction. Let's see. Let's keep our eyes peeled. The F5 has a pretty bad radar. The F5's radar isn't very good at least in DCS it's it's more realistically built there so I I'm making my judgment of a DCS attention to the map attention, attention to the map to who, the grid zone. who just whoa. Attention to the map. who's pinging that come on come on chat 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 Phil is that the uh, a5 that died because maybe he's telling us where I don't think so We're gonna check our six. Looks pristine. Eight minutes of fuel, guys. Eight minutes. That's not much. Oh! Did I see some? I really need to set my buttons for wing sweep control because when we're in a dogfight, all I have to do is open up my wings all the way, and that's going to give me an insane amount of lift. It's going to increase my turn radius, or I'm sorry, decrease my turn radius by quite a lot. Manual wing sweep is a blessing when it comes to fighting in these planes. And I know that because I do it a lot with the F 14 in DCS. Manual wing sweep is absolutely a beast. You have to be careful not to jam your flaps though.
We're taking some risks. I'm flying in front of the path of the enemy. If they take off and fly in this direction, they're just going to see me doing circles here. So this is definitely a risky flight path. Consider it a mistake on my part that I'm willing to make right now. Worst words ever said. Let me check how much time I have on my timer. Okay, well, yeah. We have about nine minutes on our clock. I might have to RTB, guys. Uh, we got some fuel issues. Did I just see someone on my six? Nah. We're clean. A lot of ground interference here, obviously. A lot of trees. There you go, again, a cleaner picture. really disappointed about not being able to kill the f4 because i kept i kept pressing or loading the wrong missiles i'm so sorry guys friendly in front of us five minutes fuel that's not good We got something flying in that direction. Let's check it out. Friendly. I don't want to land on that base because it's the one getting bombed. So. Base is behind us, so there's definitely nobody going to be intercepting us right now. We're going to turn our radar off here so that we don't cook the ground crew. Technically, uh, the jet should automatically put the radar to standby or off as soon as you put weight on the wheels. That's how it works. And that's done so that it doesn't cook the ground crew. You also turn off the radar uh, before you do emitter refueling. And the reason you do that is because you don't want to create an electrostatic charge that could damage your components when you when you plug into the, into the basket. Obviously, that's real life and DCS. Uh, not really a problem in DCS, but um, if you want realism, you, you would do that. I, uh, I have never flown, uh, well, we, we, don't have, we don't have the MiG-27, or I mean, yeah, we don't have the MiG-27 or the MiG-23 as flyable modules in DCS, so I, I'm not familiar with the module, and I, I don't actually know if the radar turns off automatically uh, when you put weight on the wheels. It might, it might not. 
I, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, not that I can remember, actually. I just don't know because I've, I've never flown the module there, so. I'm just speculating uh, about that. But I know for sure that if you point this radar at somebody and it's on, you're going to cook him. It's a lot of radiation. We have four minutes on the clock. That means I will do one more sortie and then I will end the video there. Hopefully we can get some good kills in this one. Uh, we got two kills already. We got one on the scoreboard and the second kill uh, from the guy that crashed. Um, as a result of us. And we could have gotten a third kill by killing the F4 Phantom that was attacking our friendly. But unfortunately... Uh, I wasn't getting the right missiles, and I couldn't hit him with my gun. And again, there will be a part two to, to this uh, battle. So if you guys want to watch that, by all means, just uh, look up part two. I believe this is going to be sortie 72, so part 2 will be sortie 73. I think I'm going to post these uh, once a day now, so this video will probably be up today and then, or tomorrow. I, I don't know when I'm going to post it, uh, but you can expect part 2 uh, a day from, from the release. Gears up, flaps are up, we're good to go. Let's get on out of here. Be a shame if a uh, hitbox was oversized and just so happened to graze my plane. <sighs> Sorry, I scratched my ear. The R-23 doesn't have too much of a range. Uh, I expect, absolutely expect, that the, uh, the Gaijin will add the R-27. Um, the R-27 R and T. Specifically, the R-27 T has a better range than this missile. Um, and it's also in DCS. And it's it's honestly not that good of a missile. I mean, it's a great missile, but it's, it's not like... It's not like it's a... You know, it, it's not over, it's not gonna be overly p over powerful. You know, like I think the the M7, the M7 in this game is probably on par with the R2070 uh, in terms of range and, and speed. And I think that would be a better adversary. All right. Our radar is not seeing anything, so let's go ahead and do some sweeps here. We're scanning 30 kilometers out, so it's definitely going to give us... Oh! Happy birthday. Excuse me? We're getting locked from two sides. That's not a hostile place, though. I don't think we're getting... No, I don't think we're getting hit by anything. I think we're good. That, that has to be a mistake. There's nothing here. And I don't... I highly doubt that there's... Ooh. Okay, maybe... Fuck! 
Oh, what? I deploy my flares? I deploy my flares. You guys go back and look at the counter. I mean, obviously, just because you deploy flares and chaff, because I, I had both, um, doesn't mean that you're going to survive, but... Damn. <laughs> um, wow. Well, that marks the end of this video, actually. That's my 30-minute mark, actually. My phone just went off. Um, so we're going to leave it there, and I'm going to make part two, and let's see how that goes, all right? Well, with that said, I'm going to leave you guys uh, here, and God bless all of you. Thank you for watching.